I think for people in rural Quebec, the issues of um, language, religion, culture, and that were were not under threat because there were few Anglo Saxons around to give them a sense of threat. At least in the area, you know, around Quebec City, uh, the boasts of uh, south of Quebec City. I think people took their all of these things for granted, uh, and actually they still do. You go there now. Um, Hardly anyone speaks English. Uh, an English person comes along, they, they, they jump at the chance to practice English maybe. But, uh, so there's that whole other world. Uh, Serge Corville mentioned it several times when he talked about New France. There's a, the, the, the world tied to the Atlantic economy, the other world made in the local spaces. And uh, the, uh, even the French-speaking elite from uh, the city, um, I don't think they they were they represented the same world for the people of uh, uh, the rural 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 areas. So uh, I think if people were asked, well, is your language or culture or religion important? People would said yes, but I don't think they carried it around as a preoccupation on a day to day basis. It's not to say that the concerns of the elite were misplaced because the Union of 1841, for instance, was specifically designed to assimilate the French Canadians on Lord Durham's recommendation. Uh, but um, thanks to the alliance of Baldwin Lafontaine, uh, whose names are largely forgotten by almost all Canadians, but not just in Quebec, um, maybe thanks to John Ralston Saul, their reputations will be put back uh, where they deserve to be on a very high pedestal. But you know, thanks to their efforts, uh, the, the worst things uh, that people feared didn't happen. And uh, a lot of good things came out of it, the alliance of French and English to build Canada, for instance. But um, I think the peop people in the, the rural countryside, again, had uh, greater preoccupations. And when I ask my students today, you know, how important are politics to you? Um, it's getting better. It's up to 10% now, but for a few years, you know, people are just, they're totally into, into their lives, you know, and they, I think farming in the 19th century was far more uh, time-consuming and all-encompassing for people than even iPods are today. <laughs>